This lesson will show how to determine the least common multiple of fractions. The least common multiple of a set of fractions is equal to the fraction where the denominator is the greatest common factor of the denominators and the numerator is the least common multiple of the numerators. So let's look at some examples. We want to find the least common multiple of each pair of fractions. So to set this up, to find the least common multiple of 5, 6, and 2 thirds, we need to find the fraction where the denominator is the greatest common factor of 6 and 3, and the numerator is the least common multiple of 5 and 2. Now I do have other videos that show how to determine the greatest common factor and the least common multiple, but for review, the greatest common factor is the largest number that divides without remainder into a set of numbers. So the greatest common factor of 6 and 3 is the largest number that divides both 6 and 3 without remainder, which is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 3 divided by 3 is 1. And the least common multiple can be thought of in two ways. It's the smallest number that can be divided by any set of numbers without remainder. It's also the smallest multiple of any set of numbers. So the least common multiple of 5 and 2 is the smallest number that can be divided by both 5 and 2, which would be 5 times 2 or 10. 10 is also the smallest multiple of both 5 and 2. 10 thirds is the least common multiple of 5, 6, and 2 thirds, which means 10 thirds is the smallest fraction that can be divided evenly by both 5, 6, and 2 thirds. It's also the least or smallest multiple of both fractions. Next, we're going to find the least common multiple of 5 eighteenths and 11 twelfths, which is equal to the fraction where the denominator is the greatest common factor of 18 and 12, and the numerator is the least common multiple of 5 and 11. So the greatest common factor of 18 and 12 is the largest number that divides both 18 and 12 without remainder, which would be 6. And the numerator is the least common multiple of 5 and 11, which is the smallest number that can be divided by both 5 and 11. And since 5 and 11 only share a common factor of 1, 5 times 11 or 55 is the least common multiple of 5 and 11 which means 55 6 is the least common multiple of 5 18 and 11 12 55 6 is the smallest fraction or smallest number that is divisible by both fractions and it's also the smallest multiple of both fractions. For the last example, we want to find the least common multiple of 8 ninths and 4 sevenths, which is equal to the fraction where the denominator is the greatest common factor of 9 and 7 and the numerator is the least common multiple of 8 and 4. So the greatest common factor of 9 and 7 is the largest number that divides both 9 and 7 without remainder. Well, 9 and 7 don't share any common factors other than 1. The greatest common factor of 9 and 7 is 1. The least common multiple of 8 and 4 is the smallest number that can be divided by both 8 and 4, which would be 8. Notice here, 8 over 1 simplifies to just 8. 8 is the least common multiple of 8 ninths and 4 sevenths, which means 8 is the smallest number that can be divided by both 8 ninths and 4 sevenths, and it's also the smallest multiple of both fractions. I hope you found this helpful.